Hey, it's Allie with Seattle Coffee Gear, and today we're talking about brew methods. Um, this is actually my favorite part of coffee. This is really what inspired me to get into the coffee industry and to do all of those things, so I'm really excited to be talking about it today. Um, so basically in front of me, I have everything that's not a machine. Pretty much. So I've got all of our manual brewing methods available here. Um, and I'm going to talk about what makes them different and if you had the same coffee in each of these methods, how it would affect the flavor. So first and foremost, over here to my right, I have the siphon or a vacuum pot. This was actually the first way they made coffee. Um, it was originally made for tea, to brew tea. Um, and so they were looking for a way to filter out coffee and so they tried it out. Um, and that was really the first brewed coffee they did. They used to drink it before like Turkish coffee, all mixed in together. Um, and this was the first time they actually filtered it out. So it made a big path into the coffee um, world and led to all of these beautiful other methods that we now use today. So this one is actually gonna be the lightest of all the methods since it is originally designed for tea. It's gonna bring out tea-like notes in your coffee as well. So good for coffee with flavors like lavender or anything floral, that's really gonna be the best option. Moving on from that, we've got our pour over, which is probably one of the most classic methods you know. Um, very similar to a drip style of coffee. Basically, it's gonna be a little bit more concentrated on those flavors since you have it brewed um, directly for you at that time. So the flavor is gonna be more, um, or fresh, so they're gonna come out a little bit better. And then the water passing through those grounds is more directed. So more of that water is actually touching the coffee bed or the slurry before it reaches your cup. So that's gonna pull out more of those flavors, make them a little bit more obvious, um, whereas drip coffee it might not come out as strong, if you will. Um, so basically we still have got that paper filter method like you would on the siphon. So basically you're stepping from a fast method, this method is really fast for brewing, into something a little bit slower, um, a little bit more immersion going on there um, in a different way, passing through, whereas this one is kind of full immersion, sits and then gets um, filtered out. Um, so interesting there. And then moving on from the, the 60, um, we've actually got the Chemex, one of my favorite methods, right in the middle, obviously between, um, I've got these lined up from lightest to darkest. So the Chemex, what I love about it is that it's still a filter method. You've got this really unique filter here. Sorry, I had something weighing it down. Really unique filter. Um, it's really thick. It's got three ply on one side and one on the other. Basically, this is taking all the fats and oils out of your coffee. Where something like the V60, some of that's gonna come through. It's not as dense of a filter. So some of that's gonna come through in your cup. Whereas the Chemex, it's going to hold all of that back. So it's going to be the cleanest cup of coffee possible out of all of these methods. But because it takes so long to brew and all of the water is still kind of sitting in there immersed, it actually pulls out more flavor. So it's gonna be stronger than that of the V60. You can brew these to be very similar, but technically this one should be a little bit more intense than that V60 style. Up next, we've got French press. Classic method, of course. This is probably what everybody first starts out with when you're looking into brew methods. Easiest to brew, doesn't take much effort or energy at all. Basically just pour in your grounds and your hot water, um, wait, push down. I think that's one of the reasons why this one was so popular for so long and still is. Um, I remember the first time I had a pot of coffee from a French press, I was like, holy crap, this is the best thing I've ever tasted in my life um, and was really excited about it. And the biggest difference from our previous lineup is this one actually is gonna be a metal mesh filter. This particular unit that we have, the Espro Press, has a dual filter here, dual filter system, which is not exactly traditional, but basically no paper filter. So while the dual mesh filter will still be cleaner than a traditional just one layer filter, it's still gonna leave all of those oils, all of those fats in your coffee, which is why you start to see some of that residue along the sides of the glass as well as in your cup. And then you probably notice if you poured out a cup or clean this out, you can see all of that residue left behind as well. So the resulting flavor of that 
is gonna be more intense, it's gonna coat your palate and stay around for a longer period of time. So that makes more intense coffee than any of the ones we've mentioned before. When you take out that oil and the fat, it leaves your mouth quicker, that makes it cleaner. So kind of the difference there. Stepping down to something that's gonna be more intense than any of the others, or should be, is our mocha pot. Now, you've probably known this before as like a stovetop espresso maker, something like that. It's not quite exactly like espresso, but it gets pretty close. So you're gonna have more intense flavor, more concentrated flavor. Um, it does use pressure to brew, um, so it's gonna be a little bit more dense. This one should also use a metal filter, so you still got those fats and oils that are gonna coat your palate. And this grind is finer as well, as compared to the coarse grind of the French press. So the finer grind is gonna bring out more of those flavors, make it more velvety and dense. Um, so you should get something that's more close to your espresso um, in this method. Now, obviously these are all fun to try and I've tried out pretty much all of them hundreds of times. Um, I've kind of settled right in the middle, but I know some people will lean one way or the other, but I thought this video would be a helpful way for you to see the differences and why you might wanna try one method over the other. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you have any questions about brew methods, I would be happy to answer them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.